Right, morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope everyone's getting on okay and you're not all totally bored out of your mind like I am with this self-isolation um, routine. It's getting pretty tough now um, and it's just about trying to fill time with things to do. Uh, it, it is tough, isn't it? Um, so, a couple of people have asked for a review on the um, Fjall Raven Singy 48 backpack. So um, I'm going to do that um, and I just thought maybe not a daily vlog but I'm just going to start making videos through this time every couple of days, a bit of a vlog style, um, it's just how I'm getting through you know, the day and I'm, you know, I've got quite an extensive gear selection in the loft which I'm going to go up in a minute and show you and I'm just going to start getting bits of gear out, different tents out. Um, and talking you through that and what I like about it and where I've used it for. Just something to stop me going absolutely mad and stare crazy. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not the usual style. Some people might not like it, but it's just something to occupy me, keep me busy. Um, and, yeah, hopefully show everyone some of the massive um, amounts of gear that I've amassed over a very, very long period of time. Well, 20, 20 plus years. Um, so... Yeah, let's go and have a look in the loft. Let's get the Singy 48 backpack down and the gear I'm going to talk you through is the Mountain Hardware Trango 2, an old version of the tent, which is a proper winter, you know, all season mountaineering tent, which they use on the likes of Everest. Um, so let's go and have a look. Needs a bit of a paint. Got some serious DIY to be doing. It's like uh, a stride edge. Right, stand by. Here we have camping gear heaven. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite expansive. Um, it needs a bit of a sort out, folks. But we've got absolutely everything up here. So, we're going to be looking at this backpack. So, keep that there. There's the old version of the Steuben. And then, tent. We've got... Let's go. Where is it? Here we are. The Trango 2. Right. Mountain hardware. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of gear up here. Um, yeah, there's loads to talk about, loads of stuff I can get down, so I'm just going to start making videos, you know, every other day, every couple of days when I'm off. I think when I'm off and I've got nothing to do, I'm just going to make a video, grab a bit of kit from up here, even if it's only five, ten minute video, just to, just to keep it going, just to keep me sane, busy and occupied, and hopefully, you know, just... Just let the subscribers know, let you all know that, you know, I've not just given up on the channel because I can't go out. So let's get these two items down. We'll get the tent pitch in the garden and we'll have a look at the, the rucksack in a lot of detail like I like to do. Right, here's the items we're going to be looking at. It's a Fjall Raven Singy 48 backpack. Um, I've got the card. Just to tell you an overview of the features and I'll go into it in a bit more detail. Um, it's 48 litre pack as it comes and you'll notice when I zoom in a little bit more it's got this daisy chain webbing straps that go across various parts of the, the rucksack and that allows you to customise it and add further storage namely the Singy side pocket and the Singy gear holders which just attach by way of simple toggles, similar to the uh, Steuben pack, um, and you just pass the toggle through the daisy chain loops, and you can add on additional storage. These Singy side pockets are four liters each in capacity, so if you add on two of them, basic mats, I'm gonna take it from a 48 liter to a 56 liter rucksack. You can also place another one on the front. You could have a side pocket higher up. You could put a Singy gear holder underneath, um either side so i mean you could add two more you could fit two more 
are the side pockets on the front of the pack as well so it is very customizable if you want some more storage from your pack so I'll take you in for a closer look and then we'll talk about the fabric and uh, some of the technical features of the pack so folks if we go top down you can see it's made out of Fjall Ravens um, usual fabric their G1000 and it's G1000 Eco S throughout the pack and then on the base the higher wear areas it's G1000 heavy duty where you're going to see lots of extra abrasion where you're putting your pack down onto various different surfaces as you're using it so starting at the top you've got some these daisy chain loops on the top there they extend all the way down the front of the pack now it's not looking its best because it's empty I've got nothing in it at the moment and they always look better when they're full up but uh, it's a nice looking pack and this particular one is in olive green color and um, so moving down the front you've got these daisy chain webbing loops which extend pretty much down the whole length of the pack you've got compression straps at either side and further daisy chain loops which run the full length of the sides of the pack you've got your usual buckle adjusters on the lid which can be tightened as per the usual means and we've got this elastic um, bit of cordage just to stuff jackets you can move that wherever you want you can configure that how you want or add more as and when required um, like I say you get a compression strap at the top compression strap toward the base and they just fit behind the side pouches there if you look at the back of the pack you've got a nice pocket under this storm flap of fabric and um, so we've got a nice lid pocket there we've got these two adjusters on the rear which will raise or lower the lid so you can overpack it if required on my uh, Hillerberg solo in a storm video in the lakes I had the lid really high up um, and that just adds some more versatility if your packs overloaded you can raise the lid up there the back system has got this wooden frame with FSC certified birch it's got really generous and thick padding here you can just see how thick that is there you've got various loops for carabiners we'll look at this back system now in a bit more detail so if we look at this back system really really well thick really well padded straps there really good quality anyone that knows Fjall Ravens gear a lot of people it's very expensive but there's no getting around that fact but it's very very well made so some people say you know if you buy a pack you're spending a lot of money on a pack it's going to last you many many years so in some ways um, you're not replacing your gear and you're therefore saving money because it's going to last you longer in the long term if you're not throwing away gear and purchasing new stuff it's kinder to the environment all fits in with the ethos of the company reducing the impact on the environment whenever way they can when they're manufacturing the stuff so you've got your chest strap which has got a whistle you can slide the chest strap higher or lower on this uh, bit of webbing here normal buckle closure you've got this really really well padded waist belt I'll zoom in show you various uh, things in more detail but you've got your adjustable waist belt and on either side of the waist belt there's a, it's a pocket quite a roomy pocket there to fit you know keys mobile phone fire steel anything you want to put in it so you've got things to hand very accessible when you're trekking and you don't have to take your pack off likewise on the other side you've got the same pocket there on the reverse now you notice the back system here don't worry I'll, I'll zoom in and show you in a bit more detail there's this toggle which sits behind the padded shoulder area you can undo that and you can lower or higher that whichever way you want by adjusting this loop here and this buckle just to suit your frame to make sure that the waist belt is sitting on the top of your hips and um, that is the load bearing area of the pack so that's really good really nice really well made absolutely rock solid um, I can only describe the quality of the this harness part it's, it's akin to sort of child seats which you'd have in your, your car it's really really well made and really solid once you've got that to the correct length of your back you just 
fasten it again with the clasp um, so that's really good and like I say it's got a wooden frame it's got these two lengths of birch which are FSC certified um, they're nicely stained and they just give some rigidity to the pack and support the frame of the pack and towards the bottom of the um, of the waist belt again you can see the thickness of the padding don't worry I'm going to zoom in so you can see it in a lot more detail for those of you that are actually thinking about purchasing this pack moving on to the side pouches these are the Singy side pockets which unfortunately you know you've got to purchase them as an extra but they're really well made it's G1000 Eco S um, rock solid it's waxable the whole pack you can add the Greenland wax to it just to make it more water resistant but these side pockets you've got to purchase them separately but they add four liters of space you've got a snow lock on the top of the side packet side side pouch you've got snow locks on it and then you've got this G1000 Eco S lid with a metal um, clasp metal buckle it just sits through there and then you've got your usual drawstring adjuster so they add some more versatility to the pack you can situate these wherever you want along the length you can have them higher up you could have a singy side pocket a singy gear holder below that and um, so it, you know you can customize them where where you want again you can have these on the front of the pack you know i could fit two more of them you can get absolutely tons in there and really increase the capacity of the pack a lot more and then on the other side again um, exactly the same setup there those of you wondering about heavy weights in the side pockets well the stitching and the reinforcement on them is second to none so there's no sort of issues there with regard to well is that going to be able to take heavy loads you could quite easily have a litre water bottle in there it's not going to it's not going to pull loose when I zoom in you'll see the quality of the stitching it's really reinforced um, and it's not going to be going anywhere it's not going to sag or pull over time it's absolutely rock solid um, the base of the pack it's got the zip around compartment where you would normally put your sleeping bag and like I say the bottom of the pack is reinforced in the G1000 heavy duty material so if you undo the front buckles have a look in here got this huge sort of snow valance snow skirt it goes up quite high and it will allow you to overload the pack like I said you can raise the top lid so you can really put more gear than the pack was designed for if you so wish uh, it's got a nice little loop on the front there it's got a nice drawstring to keep the snow and elements out of your pack and then that is further reinforced by a second drawstring that goes around the circumference of the outer material so there's no questions with regard to keeping the elements out it's really secure it's going to keep you know the rain the snow ice out of your pack once you've got it all cinched down tightly it's got a sturdy carrying loop at the back you can hang it up again really well really reinforced i'll show you it in a lot more detail i'll zoom in get really close up so you can see some of the quality um, You've got your Fjall Raven logo there on the front. I just put a bit of um, boot wax over the front of that just to protect the leather. Just look after your gear. And then, like I say, you've got compression straps on either side of the pack. One at the top, one at the bottom, and the same on each side. Just to, you know, if you're, if you're not carrying as much stuff in, you're gonna wanna compress your pack down. Keep all your things from there. Uh, sliding around and jumping around inside but in short it's a really really well made piece of equipment and um, the stitching the construction it's you know really really good quality and although it is expensive it's going to last you a long time and you're not going to be replacing it so let's have a look at it in a little bit more detail i'll zoom into the various aspects and i'll overlay some figures weight etc um, on the video itself so you can see I'll just try and get that to focus there maybe a little bit close in just the quality in the pack really well reinforced this daisy chain looping 
the gear holder just has a toggle which passes through the loops just to secure that and you can put that higher up or lower down the back of the side pouch has got the G1000 heavy duty here's the buckle if you can see the reinforcements there and the stitching and just the quality it's just seconds and all as I've said in many videos G1000 written on there front of the pack as I've said this uh, elastic loop just to stuff jackets whatever you want inside there and then toward the base you've got the Singy 48 logo there your double zippers they use YKK zippers throughout the pack really chunky really solid and it's the zip is protected by this nice storm flapper material there just to keep the elements out and this is G1000 heavy duty on the base of the pack at some point I'm going to purchase another side pouch I'm just going to have it on the front there and I'm going to move the elasticated um, cord higher up turning the pack over you can see the quality of this pack system that's a uh, a load securing strap it uh, sits over the top of your pack stops things from riding up so there's the uh, the loop for carrying so you've got this metal buckle and there's your clasp you undo that which then allows you like I demonstrated to slide the shoulder harness up or down just to suit your individual back length the birch is all FSC certified but you can just see how thick that is it really is really well padded chunky you're not going to be getting a sore back when carrying heavy loads with this pack it really is well padded you can just see there section on your shoulders really chunky good quality Got lots of loops there for adding carabiners for extra storage hanging things off then on the waist belt itself we've got these nice roomy pouches again ykk zippers just to store you know items that you're going to need close to hand so you're not going to have to take the pack off to get to them one on that side and on the other side exactly the same and then the base really thick padded area that's going to be going towards the base of your spine the padding on that is really good and then the waist belt itself again it speaks for itself look at that the amount of padding there is great you've got your lid nice roomy pocket on the lid of the pack and there's more webbing on each side of the lid you could add some elasticated cord there just to store more items so it's really expandable very versatile and really well made you can just see it's built like a tank basically this pack is not going to fall apart it's going to last you many 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 years and uh, you're going to get loads of good use out of it look after it and it's a it's a bit of gear that's going to last a lifetime another nice feature is this pocket in the base of the lid storing essentials keys cards compass stitching not a stitch out of place not a miss stitch really good quality throughout as you would expect and hope one thing one important thing I forgot to mention that the pack is hydration compatible inside you've got this elasticated sleeve slip your water bladder inside there clip it to the top of that and then on this side um, your hose just comes out turn it around through the back and secure your hose there so you've got access to that so it is hydration compatible
On the side pouches here again G1000 Eco S and heavy duty. Each side pouch has got its own individual drawstring, snow lock keeping the elements out. Four litres of storage again, extra here. Really adds a touch of versatility to the pack, but again, just trying to show you quality reinforcements throughout gonna last a long time and then if you look where these are attached it's just rock solid it's not gonna stretch it's not gonna sag over time so you can get some quite heavy loads in there without fear of that stretching it's basically not going to hopefully you can see the quality throughout so I hope you found that useful um, a couple of you have been asking for reviews on this particular backpack, but it's really good. This is dark olive in colour. Um, in terms of a rain cover, there's a rain cover included, um, which you would hope at that price point that they're going to chuck in a rain cover. That just sits in the lid. You know, you've got your usual plastic clip for hooking your keys on there just to making sure they don't go AWOL when you're out on the mountain. But there's your rain cover. And again, that top lid is covered with the uh, storm flap. So it's a good bit of kit. It's really well made. I mean, and it's a very good looking pack as well. Um, I like how, you know, visually, you know, bits of gear look, that's important to me to have a decent looking bits of gear and this looks really good in my view and it's built like a tank and this is the dark olive colour so it's an investment but it's a pack that'll last you a lifetime it's really versatile like I've explained that you can add or to take away the storage you might not be going somewhere where you're going to need the extra storage in a matter of seconds you can just unclip these take them off um, the Singy gear holder it's like a it's like a cup of material um, and I've seen um, on the Fjall Raven website, they've got someone's got a, a rifle, and the butt of the rifle is sat in the cup of the um, the gear holder, and that just sits below there. So again, you can just customise it to suit your needs. 48 litre, litre packed, more than enough for a wild camp. You've seen me using it on the uh, Hilleberg Solo in a Storm video, which I'm going to put in the card there. But it's really nice. Um, Again, a lot of people sort of think, well, it's it's really overpriced, the gear. My personal view is it is expensive, but um, it's an investment. It's not going to fall apart. The zips aren't going to break. Bits of material aren't going to fray and pull away. This, this pack is really nice and it's going to last you a long, long time. So, yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. What I'm going to move on to now is um, setting up the Mountain 25. I'm going to talk you through a little bit more of that. Those of you that don't want to see that, feel free to uh, switch off but let me know what you think of the pack if you've got any questions about it and um, let me know in the comments below and i will answer every single one so um yeah give it a thumbs up if you uh, found that useful and those of you that are thinking about purchasing this pack don't think too much check it out on the website there are some good deals to be had if you shop online um, so yeah check it out i'm gonna get the try and go to tent now and have a look at that in a bit more detail 